Tonight, a New York State trooper is facing murder charges following a crash on the New York State Thruway that killed an 11-year-old girl. CBS 2's Corey James has the details. That's not fair. It's not fair. 309 days have passed since Michelle Cernsey's daughter, Monica Goods, was killed. The 11 year old's life cut short after a New York State trooper crashed into the back of her family's car three days before Christmas last year. We were robbed. Cernsey's two daughters and their father were traveling near mile marker 92 when they were pulled over for speeding by trooper Christopher Baldner. Officials say during that stop, Baldner sprayed pepper spray into their car, and that is when the children's father drove away. The attorney general's office says a police chase then took place and Baldner allegedly rammed his patrol car into the back of the family's car twice, causing it to flip over several times, killing this young girl. The judge who handled this arraignment remanded this officer, which demonstrates the seriousness of these charges. Murder as the top charge. According to officials, this was not the trooper's first crash on the New York State Thruway. Back in January of 2017, Governor Hochul said Baldner hit someone on Interstate 87 in Ulster County. Then two years later, near the same area, Baldner allegedly crashed into another vehicle, seriously injuring three people and causing grave risk of death. And we cannot allow someone that has a history to be on any police force. While the New York State Troopers Benevolent Association released a statement saying its condolences go out to the family, this mom hopes no other family will have to face their pain. The Trooper Baldner needs to be convicted and sent to jail. Andrew reached out to Trooper Baldner's attorney but have not heard back. He is, however, expected to appear in court next Thursday for a bail hearing. Corey James, CBS 2 News.